hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is Sama. so in today's video i want to read this to you guys and um, a lot of you we all know of the story of uh Usina Chimwachu and how it got a lot of people talking and uh, speaking about domestic violence I'm going to say this domestic violence is wrong whether it is a woman that is doing it or if it's a man that's doing it but i think a lot of our people emphasize more on the other side because that's the most common one the truth is that it happens both ways and also because uh physically when it comes to strength um, there is this advantage that men have that some men abuse in marriages so in spite of this story going around and it, we, we know of some ladies have come up to say oh uh, you know there was a there was a specific lady actually shared her story here that she said that Osinachi's story opened her eyes because she's engaged to be married but this guy is already physical with her that she said okay i think she felt like Osinachi's story opened her eyes as to what was to come she quit i think two days to their wedding she, honestly Osinachi's story has touched a lot of people male female everybody is touched by that story and bringing up the discussion about uh, domestic violence and marriages and divorce and these debates going on and people are kind of rubbing minds and discussing this whole thing this man they call uh, Mike Bamiloye who uh, a lot of you would know I actually used to think he's a pastor until a lot of you started leaving me comments saying no he's not a pastor he's only a pastor in movies and um, he acts a lot of movies for anyone that does not know him he acts a lot of Christian movies that's what they call them and he's typically a pastor or something like that in these movies so uh, but somehow I think because of his acting role that he plays a lot of people kind of accord him some kind of respect that is almost like he a pastor kind of respect if that makes any sense but anyways he made a post you right he made a post and uh, let me read to you guys his post okay in his post he said the current unfortunate situation has made some people rewrite the scripture and say what would further destroy the homes and marriages of many. The marriage institution is under horrific attacks. And he signed it off with his name there, Mike Bamiluye. Now, um, when I read that, I... Let me tell you, there are some kind of people that I find, I personally, this is, I'm, I'm always going to personalize something when I, when it is my personal opinion. You know, people that I dread, or not dread, like people that, like if you talk about making friends or something like that, people that I wouldn't want to be friends with or people that I wouldn't take advice from, you know, people that would, you know, like for example, how do I even phrase it? People that cannot tell you the way out. Even though they know you are in a desperate situation. Because look now, his post has basically said that marriage is under attack. Right? And if you look at his post, he has not explained a way out of this situation. He has not given advice as to the alternative to whatever situation is. You know, in this matter of, you know, domestic violence, divorce and all of those things. He has not given anybody an advice. Or idea or as the way out it's like you see somebody in a burning house and you tell them don't run out that's what it is another thing I want to emphasize is this nobody is gonna come and say a divorce is a good thing marriage breakups or whatever they are good things I made a lot of videos for example I speak for myself again I made a lot of, a lot of videos which I said it's not a good thing but the truth is this people are better off going their separate ways than kill each other that has always been my message because I, you know, I always say it. I grew up in a home where the parents fought, and I know how it is better for them to go their separate ways. Now, let me give you guys one example that I think may help people understand it a bit more. On a normal day, if you threw your child out of a two-story building or one-story building, if you threw your, let me put it, you threw your child out of a, you know, let's say from upstairs, right? You threw your child out the window. On a normal day, you'll be arrested. You'll be thrown to jail. You, do you know what I mean? You'll be in a lot of trouble. But if your house is on fire, I, I really hope I'm making sense because it is illegal. It is a crime to do that. But if your house is on fire and you threw your child out of that fire because the house is on fire and you threw the child out for safety, God forbid that the child didn't make it. The throwing, the child fell in the wrong way, the child died. No police will arrest you for throwing your child out of a window. No judge will jail you for throwing your child out of, a, out of a window. You know why? Even though it is illegal to throw a child out of a window, in that particular situation, it is a completely different story. 
I live in the part of the world where if you cross red light, traffic light, you cross red, you are in trouble. Your driver's license can be suspended. Um, um, you, can be, you can go to jail depending on what happens after you cross the, the red light. There is so much. It is against the law to do that. But if, let's say a cow was chasing me and was ramming into my car and the traffic light is red and I cross it, no police officer would arrest me. No judge would throw me into jail. Do you know why? Because in that situation, even though it is against the law to cross red light, but because there was a cow ramming at my car, it changes the whole story. And then when you go to the Bible, you see the Bible says that if your earthly fathers know how to do good things for you, how much more him, your heavenly father. Divorce is not a good thing. But when your life is at risk, there is no way that this God that loves you so much wants you to stay there and continue to be brutalized continue to be beaten up until you lose your life in that marriage i really hope that you know makes sense to to to, to anybody listening to me this man is basically speaking against divorce but there is no part of his message that he actually dedicated to speak against domestic violence no part of his message that he even bothered to speak about what you should do when you're facing something like this People like this, I'm sorry, people like this are dangerous. Like, honestly, because they leave you in a messy situation. I'm going to read to you guys. When I saw that and I saw some of the comments, I said, you know what? I'm just going to read the comments because a lot of Nigerians, they came and they, they left comments for him. And I think they did justice. So I'm going to read their comments. So this one wrote and said, marriage is honorable. Life is also precious. We need to strike a balance. That's the comment somebody left for him. And another person wrote, The church should stop making marriage look like the ultimate thing to aspire to in life. Marriage is meant to enrich lives and not endanger it. As beautiful as marriage is, it's still very limited because it's not a ticket or criteria to make heaven. Single and married people can still make heaven regardless. Let the church rise to the reality of the time. Another comment says, um, sir, I bring you Calvary greetings. I am confused about what scriptural people are rewriting to further destroy marriages. Because that's what he said in his post. And he said, it will be clearer if you, sir, can mention the scriptures so that they can be discussed and can help us refrain from for further rewriting. Is it the Malachi 2.16 that many clergies have erroneously interpretations that have continued to uh, subjugate the woman and help in the manipulation of the gullible men and women to stay in abusive marriages because God hates divorce. Sir, marriages are not under attack, but truth is attacking the many lies many believers have built their marriages on. Sir, you will agree that God has called us to truth and the truth of the gospel we must speak. Happy birthday, sir. Maybe it's also his birthday. And this one says, when marriage becomes violently toxic, please run for your life. If you love the person, pray for them from the other side. Jesus Christ was the savior of the world. But when King Herod heard about his birth, king of the Jews, he instructed that all male infants be killed. Jesus being the savior of the world, did not stop the angel from telling Joseph to run with his wife and Jesus for safety. Christianity is not foolishness. When your life is threatened, please run. Scream for help. Marriage is not a do or die institution. Another comment said, I love you so much, but do you think it's better for a woman to die in silence in a marriage or because of Christianity? Another comment says, if my marriage becomes a threat to my life, I run, sorry, I run and stay away from the man so, so can pray well to let him see the light. The truth is, God does not dwell in a toxic marriage. He, oh, like I said, the comments did it justice. Like, what do we add? Anyways, let me keep reading. He said, he is too holy to behold iniquities. I'd rather stay away and pray than be there and, uh, and be in anger and pray in anger. My Bible remained true. 
I did not read violence in the Old Testament, neither was it in the New Testament. But God, my Father, is not in support of violence in marriage. Remain unmarried and keep serving God in purity. If you're outside of your marriage, no man of God should encourage a woman to remain in a toxic marriage. No, that in itself is evil. Another one says, anyone in an abusive relationship or toxic relationship, male or female, should speak out. It is in the scripture where persecution is on one city flee to another for safety it is okay it is it is one that is alive that can evangelize another one says the bible says flee from all appearance of evil abuse of any kind is evil if anyone can run and escape from a burning house i actually just say that you know why can't our women treat an abusive relationship like that they are not going to stay and burn i love when christians when i read from christians that cannot be fooled so christians that actually know the bible and can apply it if more and more people can apply this christianity as a one-on-one -on -one relationship with god and know the bible for themselves the deceiving will not be or the deception that is going on will not be as much as it is and this other comment said, uh, God bless you, sir. Uh, you need to speak out on the issue of domestic violence. And what should women do if they are abused? He didn't say that. He didn't even bother to, uh, to touch that side. And he said, what should Osina she have done to still be alive today? We are waiting to hear your views, sir. Another one says, the word of God says, women should submit to their husband and husbands should love their wives. Abuse of any kind is not a show of love. I think it dominates more more like a slave master relationship the bible allows for endurance but not to things that can affect the other's sanity or well-being the church and parents must work hard to raise godly men and women so that issues like this will not be coming up god bless sir another one says uh, daddy the law of life is greater than the law of marriage another one says daddy thanks for being a blessing to this generation please we need to hear your own view on domestic violence sir. what is your own take on it nowadays you don't know who supports to be honest with you nowadays you don't even know who actually supports domestic violence and who doesn't you know because some people are not are not coming up to speak he has not spoken up to actually put a foot down well i, I didn't see that was opportunity to speak against domestic violence. But he didn't, well, he, from that post, he didn't do it. And he, another one, no one hates marriage. Everyone just wants to be treated well. There is nothing godly about staying in a toxic, in a toxic, abusive, and violent marriage. Nothing, in capital letters. And this was a, sir, we need your thoughts on this. By the Bible, God hates divorce, but give grounds of adultery for it. I'm still confused on the basis for domestic uh, abuse. Can you enlighten us, sir? There are so many confusing narratives out there um, and tagged him. And this was a, who are the people rewriting it? What did they say that will further destroy homes and marriages? Please be explicit, sir, so we can learn from you. Abi, there's not, he, he didn't look like he was planning to teach, but he didn't look like it. Any partner that willfully breaks the marriage vows should, as a matter of course, expect the consequences. God hates domestic violence and not just divorce. Another one says, I'm loving the comments. We are sure on the right path. I was happy when I was seeing a lot of these comments. And this one says, Sir, please, I want to understand and know more about what Bible says about domestic violence. Another one says, Please explain, sir. I don't understand. This one now said, Incomplete statement. It's incomplete because you know talk solution. Yeah, right? Okay. Incomplete statements like this is the major reason many women have died in their marriages where the men turned them into training bags. With all due respect, I believe with the current incident, you should be clear with your message um, at this time and not make it vague where many women and men in domestic violence, uh, violence marriages would feel it right to continue to stay in such marriages. The fundamental issue of Getting it right the first time while getting married has obviously failed up. What then should they do? Continue praying and in the process die while doing so? The body of Christ in Nigeria should admit they have lost a vessel and stands on issues like this should be well communicated. I struggled hard to find a page for such a powerful female singer and could not find one as her husband was the 
very same instrument the devil used to dim her light clarity is all we need in messages being passed at the moment and not vague snip snippet of knowledge we are bleeding uh, another one says the truth is run away from and end every violent criminal relationship or marriage you want keep me and you want me to keep loving you or keep staying with you ah kamarini polui i don't know what that is but kamari yoruba means may we not see such something like that we need your advice on this situation sir uh, we need solutions and this one said did god say we should die <laughs> i laugh easily okay did god say we should die in our marriages what if it's your own flesh and blood that is involved sir and this one says there are many fallacies we have been made to believe one is still death do us part is this statement biblical another one says here are my thoughts during the marriage ceremony a vow is made to god by the couple to love respect and treat each other with true standard of biblical marriage when the man breaks these vows and start doing the contrary and involves putting a partner's life at risk what happens to the broken vow before god when a life is at risk do we still encourage the marriage to go on knowing the dangers to come and uh, this one says misleading post god is watching and judgment is around the corner and this one says yes now nah, women dying in abusive marriage is inconsequential <laughs> Just stay married to the pastor abuser to keep the marriage laugh out loud i know women will one day wise up to smell the coffee because you are the pawn in the games these people keep playing and obviously your life means nothing subjugate women with one-sided unbiblical submission forced doctrine and now keep killing them laugh out loud uh, laugh out loud and this one says on a second thought will this be your opinion if God forbid your daughter is the victim of domestic violence i like that question okay and killed by her spouse will your only opinion about such be that marriage is under attack you won't care about the dead about the circumstances of the death only marriage that killed her will be your concern do better sir to think most of these perpetrators are men from the pulpit and do so with this kind of mentality leaves even more to desire. Women can die as long as marriage lives. Really? I hope such marriages will continue in heaven. And people that live or didn't marry will go to hell. I really hope. <laughs> and this one says, I love to hear you and mommy share your view so as to negate what has been circulating abby and this one says daddy i have tremendous respect for you however it's best to address this current situation at hand so that those who follow you would know what to do should they find themselves in abusive marriages marriage is not under attack women have been under attack for centuries in abuse in abusive untenable marriages what should they do let men of god like you sir with their male privilege address these issues from the altar with compassion and grace by imagining that if it's their lovely daughters being abused what would they counsel marriage should not be a suicide mission god is love and he is a good father when life is at stake, should women remain in marriages? Another one says, marriages are under attack, but we must also strike a balance. We cannot continue to fold our arms and watch women die. Counseling must be done for spouses with anger issues. And if he or she doesn't change, then they should go their separate ways. And this one says, hello, sir. As someone who grew under your ministry and loves you endlessly, I am indeed disappointed with this statement, sir. Amazing sister has just been killed and you gave absolutely no statement about it than to say marriage is under attack this would have been the best opportunity to tell abused men and women to get out and seek help the blessings of god make it rich adds no sorrow please let's be clear that not all marriages are of god the devil tries to create anything god does so with no shadow of doubt there are marriages created by the devil with no jesus in it yet the church refuses to acknowledge this and want people married to demons to stay there and die the devil comes to steal kill and destroy bible says anything created by god is good bible says so how does a marriage de destined for mother class as god and centered marriage and we 
counsel people to stay there as someone who has suffered domestic violence and almost died i can tell you not all marriages are created by god please let's stop putting people in in bondage by statements like this i love you still but please i plead time to stop this and acknowledge that just as devil has created loads of pastors who claim to hear from God and are fraudsters, same way devil has created marriages that are made to kill God's precious children. Please let's recognize it and time to be true to the suffering of God's beloved children. And this one says, this is insensitive so It is one of the examples of holier than thou attitude that men of God throw on our faces the rate they really came for this man the rate of divorce and domestic violence should have made men of god to humbly seek the face of god and go back to the scripture to bring out solutions to the high rate of divorce and domestic violence wives do not deserve to be killed by their husbands because marriage is sacred husbands should not mother their wives because god abhors divorce it is time to think and not judge and what i love is that both men and women are speaking up the thing that gives me the most joy is that this is not a women's fight it's not a men's fight no everybody every human being knows that this is wrong this what happened to osina chingwachuku and everybody is speaking up another one says it's not the will of god for any of his children to suffer any form of abuse maritally it's the handiwork of the enemy for those who are in any form of abusive marriage the wise thing to do is to step aside yes it is written that god hates divorce why because it is not his plan it is the plan of the enemy john 10 10 a but the bible clearly supports separation so for those who are in any abusive marriage please leave now another one says hello sir could you please clarify what you mean by this post is marriage really under attack or can we call or stand up against abuse and dishonor all in the name of marriage can we all agree strongly and clearly and boldly say what is wrong is wrong when you make a post like this you make people who are in abusive relationship remain in such relationship all in the name of being married is that what you would want for your daughters another one says sir quit your view on domestic violence and practical steps you think a christian should take to avoid being killed in the name of uh, protecting the sanctity of marriage and this one says abusive marriage are under attacks not the ones filled with love it's true right people have been attacking since osinachi's story came out people have been attacking abusive marriages nobody is going to see uh, uh, attacking marriages that are beautifully going well in this situation of course it's not and they said um, not the ones filled with love and obeying the word of god of loving and respecting each other for two become one can a man hurt his own body no but feed and care for it abusive marriage marriages will continue to be under attacks till the coming of jesus christ jesus christ is not a supporter of evil and will continue to bring them under shame and disgrace another one says sir can you also boldly state the biblical opinion on the issue not the not the person but the issue nigerian women go through a lot of pain in marriages perpetrated by our demonic oppressive culture and almost slave mentality towards women if you remain silent on the issue it means you are in support of abuse and oppression against women state the biblical opinion not yours mm -hmm. uh, but state it so we we know where you stand you are a leader you know because he, he, where he stand is not obvious you are a leader you owe the ship of god that this is an hour of change and revolution be an active participant so you may not be judged for your inaction wow that was a lot of comments i don't think there's anything i have to add to that like seriously like these comments are they're spot on they're spot on i'm not gonna add anymore as always Whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, and with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.